I am Rip G, um, guitarist, writer, producer, originally from Greensboro, North Carolina, but have made my way to Atlanta, Georgia in the mid 80s. I've been a resident here ever since, and my wife and I, we do music. This is our love, this is what we love to do, and this is what we're going to do. Oh. Hi, I'm Mary G. I'm originally from Mississippi and singer songwriter wife. Um, love to sing, love to enhance the world with my beautiful voice. And we're ready to show you what we have. Um, primarily gospel, R&B. Me, uh, as a guitarist, uh, I've learned to play several different genres. I started playing classical music, ironically enough, as a kid, learning uh, flamenco style. And growing up in the Holiness Church, with my mother under the tutelage of her, I started playing gospel music for a long time. Then went to R&B, discovered jazz in the early 90s, became a fan of Wes Montgomery, George Benson, Grant Green, Lee Rittenhouse, those types of guys. So my style is primarily R&B slash jazz slash gospel slash flamenco slash all of it, you know what I'm saying? So I do it all. Yes, we've done several uh, uh, gigs together. We uh, do a lot of stuff around uh, weddings. Uh, we did several weddings. My family got sister in law's on sister in law's wedding a couple of years ago. Uh, we've done uh, performances for my lodge, uh, Prince Hall, Mason, Sonic Order. We did uh, a show. Well, actually, it wasn't actually a show, it was more like a. Uh, a chain of the guard. They had changed from one leader to the next, and they asked me and my wife to come perform at the event, which we did. And uh, we do a lot of stuff like that, uh, different venues, different areas. So primarily, like locally around town, we do uh, weddings, church gigs, stuff like that. Um, I just I want to make music that will be considered healing. I want to be able to consider my music more in a healing form. The strings is one of the oldest instruments out there. For the Bible lovers, you know that David played the string. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm also a minstrel. Love playing music, love the guitar. A lot of people kind of shun away from the guitar because of the strings. I, for one, love it because of the strings. I love it because it simply can make one person happy. It can just make you happy if you're given the right form, the right music, the right setting. But what I don't like about it is just people taking it and just turn it into something nasty. You can just be crooks. There's crooks everywhere, but so I don't like that. Love is always supposed to be Something wonderful to me To watch you grow inside yourself To feel inside yourself Sometimes it hurts to love so bad When you know you give all you care Sometimes it hurts to even know but still it's much too sad Sometimes the pain is just too much Ooh, And it hurts like hell Way it feels um, Professionally, let's see I played on several projects. Uh, Killer Mike, the rapper here in Atlanta, I did his debut album. Slim Calhoun, another local rapper in Atlanta, who was with a criminal with Outkast, I did his first album. I did a song with Nelly uh, entitled she, she Don't Know My Name back in 2004. Nelly. Uh, I toured with, with uh, Jaheen, who was on tour with Jaheen, Anthony Hamilton, Charlie Wilson, Fantasia. Uh, and I did a movie in 2012 entitled Joyful Noise, starring Queen Latifah, uh, Dolly Parton, 
Kiki Palmer and uh, Courtney Vance. So I did. Then I also did uh, a little small uh, part of the movie called Bessie with Timothy. I was a saxophone player in that movie. So I've done a few things over the years. Best piece of advice I ever gave was to keep playing. Don't ever stop. It can get discouraging, but keep playing. Don't ever stop playing. It's extremely hard working with your husband. Only because he's a perfectionist. And that's not a problem until you're doing the work. So that can be hard. Next year, this time, we will be known globally. They will know who we are. People will appreciate our music. They would love to hear me every sing, and they would love to hear me play. And we're gonna bring joy to somebody's with life in the next year coming and beyond. Well, my first instrument I ever played was, other than the guitar, was a trumpet. And I played it in my uh, elementary school. And back in those days, they had funding for music. Matter of fact, if you didn't have an instrument, they had instruments at the school you could use. And now that seems to be gone by the wayside. So I think putting music back in school is a great thing for the kids. An excellent thing. And it also helps with academic to actually study music. It helps you it helps the kids.
Thank you.